Jealous. I didn't know anything about this lady until I did a video reacting to an interview with Bimaha. Somebody tweeted this Kent visited Epstein in 2011, three years after he pleaded guilty in 2008 to soliciting minors. Yet she claimed he hadn't come out yet. And I feel like, to your point, Bill, the socioeconomic disparities are a lot and class resentment is a lot what and anti-intellectualism and elitism is what is driving many of these these anti-establishment which are trump voters right. or anti-establishment voters so i think that is a huge problem that we have to address i mean globalization and you know the transition from an industrial to a technological so, society. I mean, I, I and I don't know if you've ever been jealous of some what someone else has or resentful. It is such a corroding and um, bitter, almost bile <laughs> feeling. Right. Okay, remember the town hall he had on CNN about six months ago? Yes, yeah, someone replied to this video. These people will say anything to stay in Hollywood, fledged rich, out of touch. Imagine supporting globalism. Imagine supporting the destruction of young, of your country. Imagine cheering on this mass illegal immigration that is causing the pain and suffering of American citizens across the nation. Then you sit down on a podcast and accuse the American people who are the ones who are actually suffering through the problems that arise from this no-border globalist ideology has been wrong or jealous. Just another example of rich entitled Hollywood elite thinking they know better than us. That is someone going off on her after she said this. It is crazy sometimes when you watch this. Political elites tell the average people on three or four or five issues that the reality is X when in fact reality is Y. Take immigration. Elites tell us that open borders and even illegal immigration are okay. The average person tells us in the United States that both rob them of the American way of life. They're right. I guess the favorite at the World Economic Forum is climate change. Elites tell us that we, we have this existential crisis with so-called climate change, so much so that climate alarmism is probably the greatest cause for mental health crisis in the world. I decided to play this part so you can see exactly what this guy was referring to. If this lady is sitting down with Bimaha, you know, can say this, then it is concerning. She went for that to say she will vote for Trump. Okay, remember the town hall he had on CNN about six months ago, and the audience loved it. The audience loved it. I mean, you can't, you can hate it. It was stacked with Trump supporters. Well, they said Republicans and independents. That's what they said. Okay, maybe it was. How'd they get in? If they did, that's on CNN. I, yeah, I agree. <clears throat> I think then it is on CNN, a, and the vetting process well, was... Well, then you got to get a better audience person. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like the person who handed the gun to Alec Baldwin. Yeah. You know, <laughs> got to get good people in all these positions. I agree. Or, okay, so if that was about, whatever, if, even if it was, here's what happened. Here's what you, he, people saw in America. They saw Trump killing it, killing it with the crowd. Then you come to a panel of six people who all just do nothing but dump on him and call him a liar. And America goes, oh, didn't you just see that we like him? And He's now, not a stand-up comedian. What? He's killing it. He's not a stand-up comedian. No, but popular, it doesn't matter. He, the people loved him and what he was saying. And then you cut to a panel of six know-it-alls in Washington who just do nothing but talk about the negative. And like, I'm all in on the negative. No one's been harder on Trump than me, but I get it and I'm bored with it. And there's a different way to, to do this, I think, which so is how, to- So what is it? The, it's to not to defend Trump, but to defend the people who still vote for him because what they see on the other side to them is even more dangerous because it's very closer to home. My kid is coming home from school and he thinks he's a racist. 
Uh -huh. He's five. What have you been telling him? Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. my my son thinks maybe he's not a boy, and maybe that's true. That happens, but you know, seems, those kind of things are what they say. That's why I'm voting for Trump. I a, a backlash a, to well, the pendulum swinging. Conservative so far to guy the left. once said to me, "What you don't get about Trump is we don't like him either." Now that's not true for all people. There are people who just love his dirty drawers, mm -hmm. and they are dirty. But <laughs> lots of people, it's like that. We don't like him, but he's all that stands between us and madness. That's their view. So that, I would like so that view presented. Now taking a look into what is going on, people are regretting. Even Bimaha, I don't know who is actually sounding into his ears to see the truth. Bimaha is changing his tone. This is not how he used to sound, but it kind of tells you something is happening. What could be that? He now says he wants to reason with Trump voters what they are saying. Reason they are voting for him, not like he is defending Trump. Mm -hmm. We well, understand Bima is a staunch Democrat. He can never change his mind. But just saying this, it therefore means he is doing something that these people don't like. Now look at what is happening. These are voters. I don't want to say black, white, you know from different angles, regretting, you know, listening to the mainstream media for a very long time. Folks, we don't care, you heard me? We already made our mind up. You already know when the hood got your back. Man, they deep in the hood, gangsters, hollering about Trump 2024, you heard me? We've been used and abused for so long at that party. They don't value our vote. Uh, their policies are basically um, racist policies. I believe it's a racist party. Donald Trump is he's the opposite. He's hes going to tell you how, how it is. He's going to give it to you straight. Trump this is one of the reasons I decided to put out videos. Though sometimes it pairs off some people, they unsubscribe on the channel. And I cannot grow to a higher level. I could have been more bigger than this. But because of my viewpoints, uh, with the kind of videos I put out, you know, people will not like to subscribe. But the few that follow me, understand what I do here, will know my stand by now. I like the truth. I like people to see what is going on. Reason I try every single day to always bring videos you will not see from the mainstream media. But it was important to show you what, how Bima is thinking. If you look back, he could not say things like this before. Please share this video.